Hello everybody, it's Mike Young with Mike Young Real Estate. This video is about who should be holding and even buying real estate right now in 2022 May when I'm making this video and actually probably going forward for the foreseeable future because things have changed. They've changed a few months back and I got yelled at for saying it, but we're in it now. I don't think anybody's yelling anymore. They're all like, oh, you were the one that was people were making fun of a while back. And I'm like, yep. Well, anyway, let's before we get into this talk about who I am, I'm just some random guy on the internet. This is not financial advice. Uh, this is for informational and educational purposes only. Do what you want with it. But let's talk about my ideas, like I said, on who should be holding on to homes right now and or buying homes. And let me all first first stipulate that I'm not talking about raw land, okay? Raw land prices have gone up in most locations, especially in Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, like where I am in my main market. And uh, they've gone up for sure, definitely, but not to the extent that some some bundle of overpriced lumber on somebody's land has gone up, AKA a home. All right, those things have really gone up as inflation has spiked. So land has gone up, just not so much. Homes are what I'm concerned about. Homes are where I feel the bubble is, like structures, things that you can get mortgages on, things that people have uh, been going out to earn income off of, income producing assets. Usually land really is not much of an income producing asset. So that's where it is. Now, who should be holding on? First of all, let me tell you that I am holding on, all right? You gotta have a long time frame, a long horizon. So that's the first thing. Five to 10 years, if you have a lot of carrying costs, when I say carrying costs, I mean a mortgage, okay? You need to have some really stable employment or be assured that you're gonna have stable employment in the next five to 10 years. And don't think just because there's jobs everywhere right now, you're gonna have stable employment for the next five to 10 years. That is not necessarily so. You really need to do some deep soul searching. How motivated are you when things are gonna get really tough in the job market? Because already tech company stocks, certain stocks are down 80%. What do you think they're doing? You think they're hiring new people? No, they're letting people go. This job market is gonna correct just like the real estate market is gonna correct. We are not gonna remain the way we have for, for the foreseeable future. You know, right now what we're coming out of in May of 2022, and I've said this for the last six months, is the strongest seller's market ever on record. I've been a licensed realtor since 2006, which was the last uh, peak. I'm also 52 years young. I've seen stuff even when I wasn't uh, a real estate agent. You know, I know I've seen ups and downs. They happen. It's a regular thing. And what we've experienced this last time is a, a, a fueled seller's market like I have never seen before. Going along with a, a tight, tight job market where all, well, the salaries, the bottom end salaries have really, really started to move up. But that's going to change. OK, and this next market swing is going to get hit hard. And I made a video about what I think is going to cause the, some real like most of the of the turmoil in this in this upcoming a uh, difficult time for the housing market is gonna be from the securities back lines of credits or SPLOC. Search up the channel if you don't know what those are. I'm not gonna go into them at all here in this video, other than to say that that's gonna be a driving force of the change in direction from this strong, strong record historical seller's market into what will be a buyer's market. So if you meet that criteria, that, that's the main criteria there is that you've got to be willing to hold on for five to 10 years, at least five years, at least five years. You've got to be able to do it. And if you are really having a, you know, a large substantial, uh, substantial portion of your income going towards your mortgage, you're the, you're the person I'm talking to. Because if there's something happens with your job, you may have no choice but to just walk away from your house in foreclosure. And we don't want that. That's going to not only make the, the, your credit bad for some time, but it's going to also hurt the real estate market even more. So I am trying to be realistic as a real estate agent. And I know that a lot of realtors have been, have been cheering over winning homes for their buyers in this incredible historic seller's market. All that means is that they paid more than anyone else and are about to be in more trouble than anyone else unless they are independently wealthy, okay? unless they don't have a mortgage, unless they somehow are cash flowing that asset to bring in more money than it's costing them per month. And a lot of these people are not. They're just like, they're this happy, happy homeowners and they're the ones who are gonna get hit really hard, okay? I know the supply and demand. I know like Raleigh, like I'm talking about Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill, all these companies are moving in, Apple's moving in, all these other ones are moving in, yes. But what else is happening? The SBLOCs, watch my video on SBLOCs, securities based lines of credit. 
the investment companies that are buying like a third of the houses in Raleigh, Durham are being bought by investment companies, not individuals. Okay. And where are they getting that money from? Unfortunately, it's leveraged money in most cases. And, and we're going to see how that's going to turn out badly in the near future. So that is basically my video here. Again, we're talking about houses, overpriced lumber, AKA overpriced lumber. We're not talking about land. Land is still a good buy. It has been a good buy for just about anybody. And actually this, this upswing, this last six months, if you were really smart, you probably would have got a good deal on some land and just waited until this whole stuff cools down and lumber prices drop, cost of materials, supply chains increase, and then build your house, okay? That would be the move here, which I think pretty much nobody's doing. And actually nobody does what you need to do at the top of the market. That's how you know you're at the top of the market. Nobody's really been doing that. There are, I mean, not really. I see, saw plenty of people, plenty of people, and this is kind of what fueled the market, who they went into new construction, like a tract home built, and they locked in at, let's say, 300. And by the time their house is ready, like eight to 10 months later, I know it took forever in a day because of supply chain issues, it was suddenly worth 400000 when they went to settlement. And of course, I was selling their house, their existing house, and we waited to the last possible minute. Instead of them selling their house for two hundred, we sold it for three hundred. So they ended up making out on both ends. And I've told clients like that who I was servicing that this is amazing. It's wonderful. Just never expect that to happen again in your lifetime. Never expect it. Those days are over. Actually, this is already behind us. You already missed that opportunity. That opportunity is gone. That opportunity was really mostly uh, last year, I'd say 2021, uh, second half of 2020 into all of 2021. 2022, I am very concerned about people who are thinking they're gonna be making money off of these uh, on the new construction end, because I think at some point, and it's gonna happen soon, because mortgages, mortgage rates have already doubled, they're gonna be holding the bag. But don't let this scare you. Like, if you've got the long time horizon, and I'm not talking to the independently wealthy, if you're independently wealthy, please don't comment on this video. Please don't give me a hard time because you're independently wealthy and we don't care. Because the people that are really going to get hit, aside from these over leveraged investment companies who've been buying up all these properties, are the average Joe and Jane, the wage earner that is trying to make ends meet. And those are the people that I'm trying to keep out of foreclosure, especially your first time home buyers and things. There will be a time in the near future. That's my next video. I'll check out the, the channel for this one. Um, when so much starts to change, as we move from a seller's market to a buyer's market, it's way more than the price that changes. So many other factors swing into the buyer's favor. It's going to be a great time to buy a house. It has not been a great time to buy a house in the last year. If anyone has told you that it's a great time to buy a house, not land, remember, a house, I would never trust those people again. That's my opinion. Never, because they're only interested in their own commission off of that sale in almost every, because it's not always a great time to buy a home. I know that's the real realtor slogan. That's, that's a liar slogan when you hit the top of a market, when you hit the top of a seller's market like we have, especially a historical seller's market. Think about it. How could it possibly be a great time to buy a home at the top of a seller's market? Unless you're going to ride this storm out for at least five years as a wage earner with a very strong a job or uh, ability to get another job in a bad job market, which we're going to enter into very soon. So that's my advice. I hope I you haven't bought if you shouldn't have bought in the last six months. And if you didn't, then pat yourself on the back and just wait it out. And you can contact me if you're going to buy in the Raleigh area anyway. Uh, Wake Forest, Cary, Triangle area. And let me know because there will be a really good time. I'll be telling you about it when it's a really good time. But I will not tell you about it until that time arrives. So thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. Bye.